Okay, so I learned something new today about our oxygen equipment. Um, we have had this happen a couple of times. We're, we're away from the home and Louisiana needs oxygen and most of the things that we've been receiving or have taken home from hospitals were not trach compatible. So I learned something today that I feel silly about, but I, I'm just going to show you because you don't know because you don't know. So when we're at home, this is the collar that gets set over her trach and the oxygen runs to the air compressor, which that's the tubing that gets pushed through the mirror. So that works at home. The issue is if you're not at home, you're not hooked up to the compressor, you're hooked directly up to portable oxygen tank. So one of the things that I have stressed about and I had an answer for is this tubing that we get. Great tubing. Um, this one is done by Medline. Is not compatible because there's no way to use this collar when you're on the road. So what we have to do is come up with something that either fits directly onto her tray hole, which that doesn't work because the the Ambu bag does, but it's meant for someone who's needing to be resuscitated is very still and is being controlled. And sometimes that's not what's going on. She just needs to breathe oxygen. Um, these are the Humidity Moisturizer Exchange HMEs that we use. These ones that we have are done by Smiths. You can see that's the hole, the little stick out piece. That's where oxygen is supposed to go. So the issue that we have is the tubing that we had for in-home oxygen didn't wasn't suited. It doesn't fit. So I had been doing... I've been stuffing this end in here, taping it in place. Again, not great. Not great. We got the correct kind of tubing today. There's, again, shortages probably because of what's going on in the world. That's the end that fits to your oxygen tank. Like that. And this is the end that is suited to plugging on to your HMEs so then you can run the oxygen and whereas this needs room air to push through it she can pull her own air through the sides of the HME and so that gets her the oxygen boost she needs when she's post ictal or just having difficulty oxygenating which has been a thing lately so this is where I felt a little bit silly because I looked at that and I thought this oxygen tubing doesn't look any different from the tubing that we get for the room oxygen. The difference is it looks like it was cut off. Yeah, that's exactly what the difference is. So if you only have room tubing and you can't get compatible tubing, you could take this tubing, cut it at any point. I would just cut it in half because then you have two of these at any length you want. So if you cut the end off of this, it creates this end and so at that point you have two disposable sets of portable oxygen tubing which that end again can connect onto your HME which can stick onto the trach and then your other end which you haven't cut fits to the oxygen and you can flow the oxygen at your preferred rate into the trach without having to use the resuscitation and boot bag. So, again, you don't know because you don't know. I've spent two years using oxygen, not sure how to handle the portable, not in her bedroom oxygen. And it wasn't until I got a piece of the correct tubing today that I realized all they did was cut it off one of the ends. So, if you don't have something that works if you hadn't seen that it was compatible with trachs. Again, if we're home, this is what we use. We don't worry about it. But if we're not at home, we don't want to have an Ambu bag out because it's cumbersome and it doesn't it doesn't do it. It's meant to be used for CPR. It's not meant to be used for just 
extended use. And I know that I'm not the only person that has bumped into this because I've had a number of nurses confused as to why we didn't have compatible tubing. The funny thing is, is it's just this tubing cut in half. That's it. It's the same thing. That's the same end. It's a different maker, but again, all of the stuff is compatible. So you just take one of these room oxygen tubings, cut the thing to your length, and save the other piece for when you have to dispose of it and use a new one because of sanitation, like however frequently you do that. So, yeah, I learned this today, <laughs> and I feel very silly because all that was was a snipped off end of equipment tubing. It's that's all that happened. So hopefully this is helpful. It was to me. And then that's how you do it with on the on the go if you don't want to use a CPR ambu bag. Or if you don't want to use and you can't there's no way to run the oxygen through the portable collar because the tubing is too small. It, you'd have to seal that off and there's not a piece that does that effectively. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you for listening.